Hi everyone, this is Jim Lee Elevators here on YouTube. And today, in this video, we are gonna be going over the two different variations of a Dover Impulse Directional Lantern. As you can see, I just acquired some Dover Impulse Elevator pieces not too long ago. And if you ask me, yes, I have a Dover Impulse button as well. This is the newer kind with the micro switch. I also have an older Dover Impulse, but it's not here with me right now. But anyways, as you can see right here, there are two different variations that you see for the directional, for the, for the intermediate directional lanterns. Typically, what you find inside the elevator cab, which is why you see the design looking like this, looking exactly like this, which they're called directional in-car lanterns, which are basically directional, intermediate directional lanterns that you find inside the elevator cab on the door jam. So anyways, this directional lantern you see on your left is the most common type of intermediate lantern that you see. While for this one is from the older generation. This type of design for, for, for an in-car directional lantern is what you find on older Dover Impulse elevators. Which for this one on the other hand, this is what you find on newer Dover elevators, which is in the late generation. And including ThyssenKrupp also use these directional hall lanterns as well, or in-car directional lanterns. The hall lantern I'm, gonna, uh, I'm going to go over in a bit. So these are the two different variations you see right here. Like I said, this directional in-car lantern is the most common type. I've been on Dover elevators. I've been on a lot of Dover impulse elevators that have this variation. But for this one is the most uncommon variation that you see right here. As you can see, they, they took both terminal hall lanterns and just combined them together looking exactly like this design, which is not something you would find for the directional hall lantern if it's intermediate because most intermediate floors use this exact form, which this form with two terminal lanterns combined together is what you find inside the elevator cab, which are mainly found on older Dover Impulse elevators, which I believe are I believe are from the mid 80s up to the early 90s of some sort when they switched to this directional hall lantern until ThyssenKrupp, until ThyssenKrupp bought out Dover. Now this is where it comes to hall lanterns. So anyways, as you see this terminal lantern, I say it used for the up, for example. You see, this up directional lantern is what you find at the very bottom floor, either the first floor or main lobby or the basement floor, the very bottom floor, which everyone already knows that. And including this down directional lantern, this is what you find on the top floor. Now, as opposed to directional hall lanterns, you see a lot of Dover elevators from both older and later use this exact form for the terminal floors. You see, they have a directional lens right here. And while this black piece are just usually a small rectangle that is almost close to being a square. Now, when they move on to ThyssenKrupp, they use the single directional lantern, but the only difference is that this um, face plate is more rectangular. With the only exception, they just put a single lens in the middle, which I could pop up a photo. You see, this is what a ThyssenKrupp directional lantern look like. It is not your usual Dover directional lantern that looks something like this. As you can see, this is the later Dover impulse lantern, which is in the ThyssenKrupp generation. So that is something for you to keep in mind. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little informative video on the two different Dover Impulse directional lanterns. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been on elevators that seen something like this before. Hope this video is pretty much informative to you. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. I will do my best to answer as much as I can, but keep in mind, I'm not expertized at the elevators like a lot of people who have experience in working on elevators. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. 
and that is going to be it.